The people behind Edge of Tomorrow are resetting for another project. Variety reports that Tom Cruise and director Doug Liman are in talks to reunite on a new science fiction project called Luna Park. It will tell the story of a daring futuristic heist on Earth's moon, and Lyman has been trying to get the project off the ground for several years. Now that Tom Cruise is involved, that should help get things moving. Edge of Tomorrow was praised by critics, including yours truly, but failed to live up to box office expectations, so hopefully their next collaboration will perform a little better. I think we'd better start over, don't you? What? Marvel and Netflix are going to continue cleaning up Hell's Kitchen this fall. Following the success of Daredevil, Netflix and Marvel's latest collaboration, Jessica Jones, is set to premiere on November 20th. Jessica Jones is a superhero turned private investigator who has appeared in comics for 15 years, and this will be her first time appearing on screen. Like Daredevil, expect the new show to have a similar dark and realistic tone, and since it takes place in the shared Marvel Cinematic Universe, expect characters from one to pop up in the other. Daredevil and Jessica Jones will join forces with other heroes in a crossover series called The Defenders, which will hit Netflix in the next few years. You really should be thanking the nut in the mask. Some pretty exciting news in the rundown right there. Scott Jones is here to talk about Doug Lyman and yes. Tom Cruise reuniting. Yes. I'm, I'll see anything those two guys do together. You know what? I, my feelings about Tom Cruise have kind of changed in recent years because I've seen him make some movies which should have been huge hits and then they weren't. But, yeah. uh, you know, I love The Edge of Tomorrow with Emily Blunt. I don't understand why more people out there didn't go to see it. Yep. And that was Doug Lyman as well. Doug Lyman, I've been a, fr a fan of his for so long. I love the original Swingers. I love Love Go. Yep. I love the original Born movie. Born Identity. And Classic. that was all Doug Lyman. Those two making beautiful music together. I've been a super fan of his for a very long time, so it's great that the world is starting to kind of pay attention to what he can do. And now that he's got the megastar clout working with Cruise, because there's even talk about an Edge of Tomorrow 2, which sounds crazy because the first one didn't oh, do as I well. I would love that. But there's a, a mad respect, for, especially for this collective. Until Luna Park comes out, I can go back and watch all of Doug Lyman's films, and yeah. I'm going to start with Swing. This that weekend. sounds like a great plan. Now, we are going to see something new that we've never seen in the Marvel space before, especially on screen. Jessica Jones and uh, the Netflix Marvel partnership taking shape in a new show mm -hmm. starting in November. Are you excited for this? Did you like Daredevil? Well, I do like, I did like Daredevil. I thought it was an interesting show. You know, it's not my favorite show of all time, mm -hmm. but I do like Jessica Jones as a character. In particular, I like her last name. Yeah. I think she has a very good last name. Jones, if you can get it, go ahead and get one of those. Uh, but we have, there's not really much to see at this point. No. It feels a little early. Uh, Netflix, I feel like whatever they're doing, whatever choices they're making, they're all the right ones at this point. They're pressing all the right buttons over there. Mysterious character as well, you know, unless you're, you've been a Marvel super fan. And I have to admit, I've never read a Jessica Jones story. She's probably been in some stories that I've read, but she hasn't been in too many. I don't think she's been in any animated work. She hasn't been in too many video games, maybe one or two. Uh, so this will be an interesting new sort of take on the Marvel space. Nice to see another strong female character stepping into the superhero spotlight. All right, well, let's transition back to another very strong male character in entertainment. I'm talking about Master Chief. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.